to hard stuff. Sorry for not posting a video in a while, but I haven't had anything to review, so that's the reason. However, <coughs> today I received a highly anticipated and uh, very uh, long awaited item, and this is the 2018 Michael Myers mask from the new movie Halloween. And this is from Trigger Tree Studios. Uh, however, uh, actually, I can't believe they shipped uh, a mask of this kind in a bag. Uh, I would have liked to have it shipped in a box instead because in a bag you can just squash it and. Uh, can easily tear and damage the mask. Fortunately, this bag looks okay, but I'm, I'm, uh, even though it looks okay, I'm, I'm still worried that it's not okay inside. But I just have to see when I open it. So this is gonna be great to finally see the long way to. Michael Myers mask. This is going to be exactly the same mold as the screen use mask. So that's awesome. They usually don't do that. So that's going to be great. Let's see. Scare freshener. Ah, oh, you can hang this in the car. Halloween scare freshener from Trick or Treat Studios. Nice. And what else do we have? We have 10% off on, uh, on fright rags. That's great. Didn't expect that. And a Misfits sticker. Cool. So let's see how the mask looks. They just ship it in a plastic bag like this. Let's see if it looks okay. Oh, the hair looks like real hair. Awesome. Max mask looks uh, okay. No damage from what I can see. This looks awesome. Very nice. I haven't seen the movie yet because it hasn't uh, premiered, so I can't tell you if uh, this is uh, looks exactly like the one in the movie. But they have used the same mold, so it should be the exact same uh, mask. However, the hair looks really, um, uh, what do you say, flattened. So I don't know if it's that flattened in the movie, but we'll just have to see. There you have it, the Michael Myers 2018 Halloween mask. Trick or Treat Studios. I posted a video uh, a couple of weeks ago on a display stand from uh, uh, what are they called? <laughs> Actually, I can't remember the name of the company, but I, I bought a display stand. That's really great. 
and this mask is going to be displayed on that display stand. And I can recommend it because it's really great. I will show it to you again uh, in this video. You see, it looks like real hair here. Almost like my hair. <laughs> it splits here in the neck, so you can easily slip it on if you're gonna wear it. I'm not gonna wear it. Maybe uh, on Halloween, I don't know. Uh, we don't celebrate Halloween here in Sweden, uh, like you do in the States. Uh, uh, some of us do. But uh, we, in our family, usually don't celebrate it. But there's a lot of kids running around uh, asking for candy and stuff. So maybe I will scare them with this mask. I haven't decided yet. I think this looks awesome. Really nice mask. Very well done. Can't ask for anything better than this. If you want the new mask. And I bet there are a lot of copies out there. But Trick or Treat Studios have the original one if you want to buy one. Let's see if the mask fits on the display stand. Here you have the display stand I showed in a, another video a couple of weeks ago. And let's see if I can see what it's called. Yeah, Tom's Final Designs. It's the company that made the display stand. Let's see if the mask fits here. It's awesome. So here you have it on the display stand. <coughs> and uh, you can see the black background in the eyes. That's awesome. Acrylic stand. Nice. This is going to be cut off. I don't want this. Just want to show you how it looks on the display stand. I can't stop looking at this mask. This is really cool. And it's even better looking in uh, real life than on video. The detail is awesome on this one. It really looks like it has been uh, out in the uh, I'm just laying around uh, in a long time and getting worn and uh, scratched and stuff. So they did a really good job on this one. I highly recommend this mask. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, hopefully I will uh, post another video in the coming weeks. Uh, I don't have anything coming in right now that I'm aware of. I have a lot of pre-order so I'm waiting on a lot of stuff but I don't know when they release it so I can't say uh, when uh, I can post a video again uh, because if I don't have anything to show you I can't post you a video. It's useless. So you just have to um, keep a lookout for uh, my videos and if you subscribe uh, you will get a notification when I post a video. So uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon.
take care.